guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to bring to you my July book haul. I have a couple of books, some that I've actually gotten from like Barnes & Noble and then a few others that were given to me. You know what? Let's just get right into this. First book is Michael Vay, The Final Spark. This is the final book in the Michael Vay series. If you have been watching my channel for the last couple months, you know I've been diving into the Michael Vay series like an addict. And this is the last book. It just came out in paperback and my mother-in-law is actually the one who bought it because my 12 year old has been reading these with me and she wanted to get him something that's kind of like for summertime. She's always really good about getting my uh, boys some summertime reading books and she knows he's really into this book or in this series. So she bought him this, but really, I'm gonna probably read it before he does, so I'm excited. So Michael Vay, Richard Paul Evans, I think this is book seven. Is there six or seven? Is it? I think this is seven. Oh, look, it says the number seven. All right, another book that my mother-in-law has given to us is for my youngest son, who is just turned 10. This is the Dragon Masters series by Tracy West. There are multiple books in this series. He is a ride or die for this dragon series. He's starting to get a little too old for it, but he has been reading them for so long since he was, I think in second grade, he's going into fourth grade, that they're starting to get a little too young for him, but he still kind of loves the characters and he's been reading it with him. So my mother-in-law bought this for him and we read them together. So I have also been following this cute little Dragon Master series and it's just adorable and cute. And each book has a different dragon in it, but also you get to still follow the same characters throughout and it's just adorable and cute. And I highly recommend anyone picking these up because they're just super fun. The next book that I actually picked up myself is Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. I read this last year with um, my oldest. He had it, um, it was required reading for fifth grade, no, fourth grade. So two years ago? I read this two years ago, but I never got to pick up the book. And I saw it on Amazon the other day during like one of those lightning prime deals and I got it super cheap. So I picked it up and now I have a copy of it. And it's such a cute whimsical book about this family that supposedly lives forever and one of the young boys has fallen for this mortal girl who does not live forever and the choices that she has and the adventure she has with this family is just super cute highly recommend it okay next that i picked up in the month of july is the ember in the ashes series but i only have the first two books because they are in paperback and this is the new paperback edition so we have an ember in the ashes and then we have torch against the night by saba tahir the third novel just recently came out, A Reaper at the Gates, but unfortunately it, does not, it is not available in paperback yet. It's only in hardback. And if you're any booktuber or have pet peeves as a book hoarder, you know that having your books match is sometimes a big priority. So I actually have to wait for the third book to come out in paperback before I can grab it. But I figured I'd pick these two up since the third one is coming out and I really like these editions and I, I still haven't read them. That's how far behind I am on this whole reading Saba to hear books. But it's on my list of things to do and I can't wait to get into this. Now, cool thing is, is these two books and the other two that I'm about to show you that I picked up in July, I got from Barnes and Noble. And what's really cool is I get books from Barnes and Noble for free, yeah. You heard that right. So if any of you heard the app that you can get on your phone called Ibotta, and it's where you can go and pretty much, it's like a coupon saving type of thing. And so like if you go to Walmart, you go to Walgreens, you go to Target, you go to Albertsons, wherever you like to shop. And they have products that you can get on there where if you buy them, then you get like 25 cents back into your Ibotta account or a dollar or two dollars or whatever it is and So I'm a huge Ibotta freak and I use it all the time and then when my account gets to a certain amount There are times where you can pull out money and you can like get it in cash or you can buy gift cards And so I always use the money that I've collected through my Ibotta to get Barnes & Noble gift cards And I wait till I at least have 25 to 50 bucks saved up in Ibotta and then I put it on a Barnes and Noble card and I get it sent right as an email and then I instantly go to Barnes and Noble and I get free books for using Ibotta for products that I pretty much already buy but 
because I bought it and I used Ibotta and I took a picture of my receipt it goes into my account and then I pull out a Barnes and Noble card when I get so much so if you are interested in Ibotta and you would like to get free books from Barnes and Noble or just get extra cash in your pocket I will link down below my Ibotta account and if you go through my affiliate link I get an extra five bucks in my account in Ibotta and you starting off will get an extra five or ten dollars it's either five or ten dollars if you are new to Ibotta and you go through my affiliate link five to ten bucks will already be automatically deposited into your Ibotta account if that makes sense so please help me and my book hoarding buying addiction and become an Ibotta a friend of mine because then that way I can get more free books Holla! and then so can you all right moving on the other two books that I got at Barnes & Noble was the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid I actually bought this because Emma books so Emma from Emma books highly highly loved this novel and I would have never picked it up if it hadn't have been for her ranting and raving about how much this book impacted her and how much she loved it. So I figured, you know what, since I'm on booktube, why don't I start a new series for myself? So once or twice a month, I wanna try picking up books that other booktubers have highly recommended for whatever reasons known to them. And then I will review the book myself and then I'll post it on booktube or YouTube saying, for instance, when I go to read this, I will pretty much title it as Emma from Emma Books made me buy it or made me read it, whatever it is. So I figured this would be a great way to start a new series and just get ideas from, I would have never picked up this book if it hadn't been for someone else saying something about it. And I love Emma from Emma Books. I've always watched her for the last couple years and she highly ranted about this. So I figured I'd pick it up. But what's funny is I don't even remember what it was about. Out. so I'm kind of going into this blindly sometimes that's a good thing just go with it and the second book same kind of concept so Heather from bookables love her she ranted and raved about this book and how much it made a difference in her reading and whatever so it is called Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine and supposedly it's about this um, woman who just is blunt just says what's on the top of her mind is not afraid but she's just kind of like socially awkward or something Heather's not the only one that's ranted and raved about this but the way Heather explained it and how much it ex like it impacted her life by reading it just really intrigued me because I don't think I ever would have picked it up without her review so Heather from bookables thank you review coming in the future all right, so there you have it. Those are my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books that I accumulated in the month of July, whether it was I bought them, got them for free through Barnes & Noble due to Ibotta, or I got them from Amazon on super cheap lightning deals because I'm a Prime member, or my mother-in-law gave me some new books, aka she actually gave them to my children, but I take them anyways because I'm one of those moms. Okay, thank you so much for joining me, and please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have some comments down below and hear from you. Have you read any of these books? Have you not? Has any of these books impacted you like they did some other YouTubers? And I would love to hear from you guys. So I will talk to you guys in another video very soon. Bye.